Gastric sleeve surgery involves stapling the stomach and removing the bottom three quarters of the stomach. This dramatically decreases the amount of food that can be eaten, but it also decreases the level of the hunger hormone called ghrelin that circulates in the body. So after sleeve gastrectomy, patients can eat about half a cup full of food, but the main effect is they just do not feel hungry during the day. It's performed with keyhole surgery sleeve gastrectomy, four cuts the size of my fingertips. It's usually two nights in hospital and usually two weeks to recover. Sleeve gastrectomy is good for patients who overeat and also patients who are hungry throughout the day. As we decrease the volume of food they can eat by making the stomach smaller, and we also take away the hunger hormone called ghrelin. So the most common comment we have from sleep patients is, I just don't feel the desire to eat the way I used to feel that desire. So following sleeve surgery, most people would lose about 16 kilograms in the first two months. So the weight loss is quite fast at the beginning, about two kilograms a week. Then over the following 10 months, the weight loss will slow up. Now it depends on how much weight the patient has to lose, but on average during that period, they'll lose between a half to one and a half kilograms per week. Usually by the 12 to 18 month mark, the weight becomes stable following sleep. After the first appointment, the patients will see the dietitian, and myself, the dietitian, and the patient will agree on a pre-operative course for the patients. Usually it involves being on a liquid diet with Optifast for one week beforehand. Depending on the patient's health, there is usually some investigations which include bloods, sometimes a scan of the tummy, and sometimes an endoscopy, a camera test where we have to look into the stomach. But that varies from patient to patient. So patients will be in hospital either one, sometimes two nights, and will require either one or two weeks of work to recover. The first two weeks after surgery, patients are on a liquid diet, water, tea, coffee, juice, soup. Weeks three and four, they then go on to the pureed food stage, where they eat nice, soft, baby-type consistency foods. Week five, patients will start on solids. They'll be able to eat all types of food, but only about half a cupful at a time. So there's an operation called SIP, Stomach Intestinal Pylorus Preserving Surgery, which is really for patients who are super obese, their body mass index is greater than 50. Those patients have to lose an enormous amount of weight, sometimes over 100 kilograms and sometimes the sleeve is not enough on its own. So the sleeve decreases the amount that we eat and decreases the hunger hormone called ghrelin. The bypass, where we bypass part of the intestine, causes malabsorption. So depending on the length of the bypass, you absorb a lot less sugars, fats, carbohydrates and calories than you would normally absorb, and that causes more weight loss. most commonly in those patients with a high BMI. The second case would be patients with diabetes. So patients with diabetes, with the sleeve gastrectomy, it's the weight loss that resolves the diabetes. But with gastric bypass and SIPs and mini gastric bypass, it's usually the bypass of the pancreas that alters the digestion of food, takes the pressure off the pancreas, and those operations work better for diabetics.